Deal or no deal, TARC and JCPS still working on agreement to help TARC drivers get hired on as school bus drivers. WDRB Stefan Johnson explains what's at stake for both sides here. Stefan. Well, right now, TARC drivers are picking up and dropping off passengers at stops like the one behind me, but pretty soon they could be headed to neighborhoods and schools instead. They're supposed to be bus riders. Shavonda Stoner has two children who attend Jefferson County Public Schools. I have one that will be going to the third grade and then one that will be going to the first grade. Because of the ongoing driver shortage, Stoner drives both children to school. One goes in the west end and one goes in the lower part of the east end. So they go at the same time. We're still hopeful that um, we can solve a community problem. This week, TARC posted a message to riders on its website about a proposed service reduction. And the reason we put that out is there again, we are under time constraints to make something happen. Ozzie Gibson is interim executive director for TARC and says if an agreement is reached with JCPS, there will be a reduction in service and routes beginning on June 30th. You know, there are several routes that will be no changes. Um, that's eight of our top routes. Um, this is not going to affect paratransit. If an agreement is not reached, TARC will delay the service reductions, but there will be layoffs. We're projecting right now 70, and that's a big deal. That's a big deal for us. Metro Councilwoman Tammy Hawkins represents many of the families impacted by the bus driver shortage and shares why she believes there's a correlation between the transportation issue and crime. We think that crime is bad now, um, that the homicide rate uh, every day you know, there's a homicide in different districts. I'm gonna say that that will double because you have more kids left out here, no rides to school, um, no access to education. Metro Council President Marcus Winkler has been part of the negotiations and believes they are close to an agreement. And I'm cautiously optimistic uh, that, you know, TARC and JCPS will be able to find a path forward. Uh, that restores service for at least a fair number of kids in, in our, our city. If you have any questions or concerns to share, you can do so by heading to our website and clicking on this story. Scott? Yeah, and a lot of people have been sharing. I'm sure more will as this uh, moves on. Thanks, Stefan.